ANSYS SpaceClaim Direct Modeler allows you to perform direct modeling on CAD data. In this example, we just have a parasolids file loaded. It has no parametric information. But you can see how easy it is to be able to select surfaces and move them interactively. So it's very straightforward to make design changes to a model that doesn't have any parametric features built in as standard. As well as the move tool, you can also use the pull tool. It's very useful for changing the radius. So in this example, we can make the radius smaller and you can see how it updates and keeps the entire model connected. Now we will look at the connection between ANSYS Space Claim Direct Modeler and ANSYS Workbench. So you can see the initial model before any changes inside Design Modeler. We'll now make some changes in Design Modeler to demonstrate the persistence. So in this case, we're going to do some simple defeaturing with inside Design Modeler. But the persistence carries through for meshing as well as simulation. So if you pr provided meshing information or loads and constraints or materials, all of this information would be maintained. So we can do a simple operation just to remove a couple of these boreholes to update the CAD. And now we can look at the persistent connection to ANSYS Space Claim Direct Modeler. So simply doing a geometry update will bring in our new design. Any design changes can be exposed as parameters to enable you to do design optimization. So you can see after a few moments that the CAD model with inside ANSYS Design Modeler and ANSYS Workbench will update to reflect the changes inside SpaceClaim. Importantly, the persistence is maintained, so the defeaturing that we did in Design Modeler is also kept. Returning to SpaceClaim, we can now make more changes. So we can lower the top section and bring in this side section as well. And then once again, back to Design Modeler, perform an update and update the CAD. This process is very useful if you are interested in performing design optimization, especially if you don't have parametric CAD data. Quite often, parametric CAD data doesn't exist in complex designs. So the ability to be able to load in dumb data such as IGIS and parasolids, perform a simulation, and then look at changing parameters based on your design gives you a significant advantage.